Tournament to Tokyo, an NBC6 News special report continues. Welcome back. For some of the players, trying to qualify for the Olympic Games is a completely new experience. Well, thankfully for them, Jackie, they have a guy on their side who knows a thing or two about the Olympic Games. U.S. head coach Karch Karai, the most decorated U.S. volleyball player in history. I caught up with him yesterday and found out how, how he tries to use his expertise to better his team. Coach, you've achieved monumental Olympic success. You're the most decorated uh, player on the men's side in Olympic history. You're coaching the women's side here. How do you convey what you've experienced to them and what they're about to experience? Well, uh, first of all, it's a good question to ask. I tend to make it not about me, but we are here to try to accomplish history. Mm -hmm. The USA women have never won an Olympic gold medal. We've got a group here that in our firm belief, in my firm belief, is capable of that. So we have a lot of work ahead of us the next 12 months, and it starts right here in Shreveport, the road to Tokyo. How do you convey to the players who may not have experienced it before what you've experienced on a scale of this magnitude with the entire country watching come Sunday? Most of it is that we can be aware of that. We can know that a lot of people might be watching on television, mm -hmm. but ultimately it comes back to us being good uh, at the next task that we have to think about. If I'm about to serve, all I have to worry about is executing that task well. Your style of coaching, what you convey to the players, um, being the player that you are, the player that you were, that doesn't often translate in other sports. Magic Johnson was not a very good coach. Wayne Gretzky has proven not to be a very good coach. Yet here you are coaching at the highest of levels, achieving peak success with your team. What do you do? What is your secret sauce? Is there one thing that you can point to to convey your greatness to, to your team's greatness? Well, um, it's, those are really kind words. Um, I think the thing I understood right off the bat and when I first began coaching, I thought of myself as a reasonable coach. I wasn't a very good coach at all. I was pretty <laughs> abominable. But the one thing I know is that if you've had a lot of success as an athlete, as a player, that doesn't translate to coaching. Often the people who've had the most success, it's very intuitive. And so it's really starting from square one and relearning the game from a coaching standpoint. So what do you have to be? You have to be willing to be humble, to try stuff, to screw up, to be a learner and be willing to make mistakes. And so that has, is what's helped me be in a position, one that I'm honored and thrilled to be in, and that is to work with this group of women pursuing history, pursuing things that we've never pursued before. USA!